have a cousin, he's a little bit bigger than me, right? He went and bought a 1999 Ford Escort. <laughs> he came to my house, he's like, let's go get something to eat. I'm like, where am I sit? He's like, I get in the front, you get in the back. I say, buddy, let's ride. We go on down the street, the car like it's full of people. Everybody, man, look at all those people in that car. The police pull us up, all six of y'all, get out. Get out. This guy's big. You ever see somebody so big when they eat and they be humming? You know what I mean? We was in the restaurant, he like, then he gave out a breath. Like, are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. And we do crazy stuff together. We go to all you can eat restaurants and sit down at the buffet. The manager be like, can I get you something? I say, some napkins, that's all we need. He like, you can't sit at the buffet. I say, I don't see a sign. You got to put a sign out. We went to the restroom and came back. He had a sign, do not sit at buffet. We do crazy stuff. But I have another friend, he does crazy stuff. He has this thing like, he shake his head when he talk to you. You ever seen people like that? He don't even realize he's doing it. You know, his name Jimmy. You know, how you doing, Jimmy? Ain't nothing going on, how you doing? I'm like, what is wrong with your head? Ain't nothing wrong with my head. He do it so much, I start doing it. I'm like, so what's going on? Because when you see other people do that, it'll make you do it, you know? We was at McDonald's looking at the menu like this. And the girl walked up, may I take your order? I said, see, look at her head, look at her head. And, and you know, I, I, I travel around the country and I, I can appreciate being a full-figured woman, but sometimes, like these hotels, they don't always accommodate a full-figured woman, because like I stayed in a hotel recently and the bath soap was this big. <laughs> now, uh, can you even see this shit? You don't have to be a rocket scientist to look at my body and look at this little piece of damn soap. What the fuck am I supposed to wash with this? Huh? So I tried it because I had to, you know, I was washing myself, washing myself, washing myself. I got around to the back and the soap disappeared. I said, I don't know where the soap went, but all I know is every time I passed gas that day, I had tiny bubbles. <laughs> and like, you know, I said, well, maybe I better try to get on a little exercise regimen. So I'm living in Hollywood and everything. So what I did, and ladies, you know, we gotta keep our cardiovascular systems together. I said, maybe I'll just start off slow. Maybe I'll just start off by walking around the block a couple of times. And I think, ladies, you know, you should try that too. So, you know, you can do it. It's real easy to do. You just do like this. So after I work out, I know y'all looking at me probably, you know, said you know, she must be, you know, she must work out, she must, but this is all natural, this is, <laughs> this is homegrown, you know. Some people strive for a six pack, I look to the bigger picture, I strive for a keg, and I think I've achieved, <laughs> think I've achieved that. See guys, I'm white people here tonight, and I see. So I'm gonna talk about my people first, white people. See, Coach Wayne will tell you I gotta keep it real. I keep it real with this guy. For instance, I'm talking about my people first. Now, it ain't all about crazy and racism. If I'm at home 12 o'clock at night, and I see somebody in front of my yard or in my street, with them little itty bitty plants in his house, yeah, go back. See, it's the ones with them little itty bitty plants that can't eat and walk around like they're right here. <laughs> like, what you twisting your hand for? You, you think about twisting me up? So let's be talking about my people. My people, if I'm at work, and y'all come in late, long, you gonna coat longer than your damn knees, I'm going to hell home. <laughs> I don't care about that. It's a real situation, country man came here to keep it real. How many of y'all got kids out here? I tell y'all, keep it real with your kids. All every, I start my kids first. One of my daughters, Told me, she said, Daddy, you know I'm 
finna be on TV. Like, who the hell told you that? Like, what you about to do on TV? She said she about to be a mom. Now, I'm not knocking my baby, but the reason why I said she can't be a mom, because her hands is damn big. I'm like, baby, all the mom could be is a damn slap box mom. That's about the only thing you do. I'm telling you, I'm just keeping it real. What's up? All these lovely looking honeys up in here. All y'all come back to a brother hotel. I'm on the fifth floor. And I got plenty of sandwiches. You know, I just found out that I needed four new ties for my Nissan Maxima. And I ain't had a $300 to pay for it. So I like went to Avis and rented me a Nissan Maxima for $35 and put my tires on their car and on mine. <laughs> <laughs>